we go, Stockholm live into the pistol round, third and final map, deciding series. Who's gonna make it to the semifinals? Heroic starting on the CT side, Virtus Pro attacking into them. Oh, Virtus Pro, just a little peek for information there. They have set a trap elsewhere. Yeah, close quarters, CZ75, this is nasty. See if Kadian is gonna be able to pull this off or not. If VP walk into this, it, it will be brutal. So it's just a hard setup here from Heroic. And VP, they obviously sense that something is amiss. You're not getting any info anywhere. They, they're going to be very careful about how they approach these corners. The problem is, too, like, you know, Kadian can get... We see that position played frequently, and we see that player in that position just get absolutely wrecked before he can even respond at times. So the setup can be tough to pull off, but they're going to back away from it. The smoke hit him. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't like the feeling. They didn't like the... Uh, especially, yeah, after it hits him and he gives away the game. Shush! Only one, isolated. Jame gets two kills right up mid. That's aggression. And Tessus was a hero on Ancient in a loss. He's got so much to do. That's incredible. Even more for Tessus as possible. And wrapping around the bomb site, Tessus. Still not in, put it into play. He's hiding. He's waiting. And Buster swings out. And now he's out of ammunition. Reloading quickly. Buster trying to find this kill. One on one. Tessus spamming it, pushing forward. And he's got it. It was long and it was labored. But Pistol goes to Heroic. I can't believe it, Tessus! I was about to say the Pistol God for Heroic. This guy's always showing up. It feels like he comes through the clutch so many times in Pistol rounds for Heroic. But there you go. Heroic, they finally end it. VP have been winning the Pistols. Heroic say enough of that. Tessus steps up, puts a halt to it. And we will not get a Force Buy from Virtus Pro. They just go for the Hero AK. Interesting. So just the hero AK, seeing what Flick can do with it. Yeah, just to do some damage. Keep the economy in check, keep them honest. There's that deep smoke and aggression behind it. Virtus Pro is not going to take any damage. What a round to kick off the map. We're leading into it, Moses. You know, like, okay, this is going to be pretty good, right? This is going to be pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Turns out, pretty good start. Pretty good start to the map. And those shots again. Just something, something spectacular from Tess's. Just know that last duel, right? Both of those players just losing their minds at that point. Nobody wants to cave. And yet, there we go. Heroic with the pistol. Spot for info here. Refresh going for the Jiggle Peak. Just getting that information. Flit realizes it. Puts that AK into play. Not going to find a kill, though. And a minute on the clock still for Virtus Pro. A single flash grenade is all they have to help them get onto a bomb site and get a bomb plant with. It's going to be a tall order. But if they group up and throw enough bodies at one point. It's all, yeah, I mean, it's all about this AK-47. How well can they bait around this corner? They do have one flashbang on Buster, and that could be huge. But, man, if they if they tunnel vision, good. Oh, good boost up. Now he's going to clear to the right. Not all the way. He wants the kill. Gets a bit greedy. Kadian finds two. AK hits the deck, and that's now in the hands of Yekandar. But he's got no armor. 25 seconds on the clock. They have no time, Virtus Pro. And Virtus Pro, you need to get the bomb plant or lose the round to die somewhere. Backing off to save it. I mean, you can save that AK, fine. Your kidder can hold on to that. But the other two need to just run up here and either get a bomb plant or die trying. Stop gonna find one and stop and gets the second. So, lots of money in the bank there for Heroic with those two SMG kills. They got a couple on Cajun as well, so he'll be feeling good about that. Rubbing his hands together, gonna be able to just barely miss out on the AWP. So we'll see if a teammate can drop one for him. But uh, that is VP, well, again, punched in the face for the second round. Yeah, but I mean, they're okay with it. Obviously, around that they, they ex kind of expect to lose. Didn't feel like they had an advantage, but man, they didn't three get no bell, Yeah, four AK 47s picked up by the VP side, especially with that saved one on Yekandar, uh, is pretty huge. Flit, the, uh, the new guy, is going to go through a bit of a hazing ritual. He's stuck on a deagle. Yeah, that's the, that's the life, isn't it? Just going to be stuck there. I mean, you are kind of the new guy in, but he still showed that even on Ancient with these buys, where it wasn't ideal for Virtus Pro, he was still able, to, still able to get kills. So you give this guy a and he might still be able to come up with the magic for you. The rest of Heroic now, slowly developing towards the rest of the map, getting a bit of a presence going towards apartments. Now we should start to see them. Yeah, I like that. multi nade to top banana. That timing, that's nasty from Heroic. Gonna put Virtus Pro on notice. Now we should be able to get that uh, start here towards uh, the banana take. Although, as I say that, Heroic, we're waiting for it. Smoke over the top, and that's just gonna keep VP locked out of here for now. Yeah, a little bit of trade of utility that denies access to VP. 
and they're gonna have to be sure to re-clear everything moving forward. A couple Molotovs left for the BP side. Two smokes as well, plenty of flashbangs for any kind of a B hit, and it's just this one lurk from the Deagle. Stown and Tessis over at B, one boosted up. And Stown still has a smoke, he'll drop that just now into the choke point, I believe, or pretty soon at least. And that's gonna take this clock very, very low. Virtus Pro is gonna have to come through this smoke. If they're committed to the B bomb site, you must go through that. They've just spent all their utility. Dude, stop it. That is bold. Just going for the spray, taking advantage of that silencer. No tracers here. Tess gets blinded and falls off the side of it as well. Don't tell me Virtus Pro have found a way onto the bomb site. Smoke is just about to clear though, and it's all on Stalin, and he's gonna miss. Tess as well goes down, and that's Virtus Pro. Double entry onto the. Well. Really onto the A-bomb site. Okay, regardless, they get the bomb planet. We got source bomb sites right now, Sammler. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Yekindar. that's really <laughs> messing with my brain right now. Oh, yeah. Yekindar is going to back off. Good kills from Virtus Pro on the entrance. That's so sick. Actually, I mean, even with two players there, that, that felt like a pretty weak defense. A lot of it was onto the spam. A lot of it was on the boost, and unfortunately, Tessas gets blinded and, and just pushed away. It could have been a bit stronger, but Heroic going to survive with three guns in the hands. They can drop weapons over in the next round. It's going to be another buy, another gun round, another chance for Heroic to fight back, but VP's gotten on the board early. Oh, feeling the toasty flames at our backs as the bomb goes off. One round on the board now for VP, and this is really actually just turning into the trend between both of these teams. You're allowed to win a pistol round and the follow-up round, and then uh, your opponents have to come right back into the fight and uh, not let you run away with more than that. There is no early momentum generated for either of these teams all series long. It is truly a brawl right from the start. Well, let's see what Hero can do with this. SMG on Kadian and Shush. So far, it's just the Molotovs to the top of Banana generating a bit of a little, you know, the usual kind of exchange here as the teams are going to try and figure each other out. Not that much. Have they, they, these two teams haven't run into each other that often, so it's really just going to be demo, review, what can you do to, to figure out what they may be trying to change up going into the series, but you don't really have much experience going head-to-head -head with these players, so it is going to be figuring it out on the fly. Yeah, last, last match of what, like something like six months ago, it's, it's, it's something crazy. It's been a while. And so. I think if you're heroic, the conversation you have to have is with the utility being so important on Inferno, how do you want to spend it? How do you want to play it philosophically against a team that is just so slow with these drawn out rounds? The timing of your final smoke and Molotov can be everything. You can Indeed. see the heroic players holding onto it. They don't feel any pressure yet. So more than happy at the moment to take heads up duel if anyone turns the corner. But at about 50 seconds, you can start putting it down. 45 seconds left, this is usually it. This is also usually when the, the CT side would make a play for information. Tess has to be careful here, dancing, trying to stay alive, doing the best he can, and that's good enough. Stop it, that bought him time. Take Kicker out, refresh, removes Buster as well. Two-man advantage now for Heroic. They had three alive on the B site, Flit doing something about that, but it's not gonna be enough. Two to one, and it's looking like it's gonna be three to one for Heroic. The hard lockdown on the B-bomb site. Done, dusted, and that was very solid. And it is, in fact, the B bomb site now. I don't need to. Like, you know where you're trying to force reality? <laughs> Your eyes are just trying to will it into existence. Your eyes are not lying to you. I'm not deceiving you anymore. It is good. We're, once again, the world makes sense. And just what a perfectly timed flash coming in there from refresh to just grind that push to a halt. That was so dicey though. Like the initial defense test is like has a nade out just jiggle peeking the pillar, and they're when they're turning the corner. Like that could have gone real south real quick. Yeah. Fortunately for Heroic, it did not. All up in the hands of Kadian. That's going to be at the B-bomb site early on, waiting for Molotovs to expire. And flashed off the angle as well. So the standard dump of utility and banana early on here in round number five. And Virtus Pro is just now going to start clearing towards A-holes. No targets yet for them, but now they've managed to get that. So you could set up for an apps pop. Heroic have to keep that in mind on the CT side. Make sure that that uh, that they do not get caught off guard if VP elect to go for that. But wow, deep smoke on Banana. Kickert has already made his way past it. Now it's a question of whether or not they're going to try and push for info here, Heroic. Oh, good kill from Kickert. Right in front of the smoke as well. Caught a little bit by the flashbang, moving his position. Utility picked up off the dead body, and Kadian's going to stick around. And actually, with the AWP, he's just saying, you can just leave me, Tessas. Go back to A. I can handle this on my own. 
Oh, 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 oh. Yekinder is going to be molding off of that one. That is so brutal. Tess gets traded, though. After clearing apartments, Heroic, again, never. They don't stay put. They're always pushing for information on the CT side. That is their style. Jane going to catch Refresh and a peek as Refresh tries to figure out what's going on over here on that side of the map. Instead, now it's all going to be on Kadian. There's the draw. And the From shot. Kadian not connecting, but gets the flank on him. But not before Kadian takes Kickert out. Heroic's defense just got picked apart in this round. That one kill that happens at Banana and on rap side just opened everything up. Kadian never had any idea that Flit actually pushed into CT spawn and was flanking from behind because there was no one on his team to tell him it was wide open or to do anything about it. He just had to take the risk. It's going to be three to two when the bomb goes off. As Shush just, all he can do is save this AK-47. This is wise as well, just backing off, controlling the weapons, making sure there's no chance here for Shush to get in. I mean, the AK is solid for Shush. Obviously, we'd love to save that AWP for Kadian. That's going to be the end of that. And uh, yeah, and, uh, you're just not allowed to chain rounds together here. First Pro going to get a second one. And we're just going tip for tap back and forth between these two teams right now. As it ever was. <laughs> As it ever was. As it ever was. It's always going on. But man, the pressure as we progress through this map is going to just get monstrous on these players and this is going to be the true testing ground here on land in front of the fans finally for both of these teams who steps up refresh kind of lagging behind right now a little bit of a quiet start for him on this map he had a quiet start on ancient though as well mm -hmm. and he came back in a big way yeah, especially when that, that when that clutch got him going oh good shot from kadian haircut for buster an advantage over to the defense, and Kadian's going to swap positions. Shows the AWP in mid at the A bomb site. Now transitions over towards the B bomb site. Even scopes in early. That's sick. He's going to be ready for it. Oh, and he just spots Jame. Outrageous. I don't even know if Jame realized how overexposed he was at that angle, but quickly a five on three for Heroic, and surely don't, they don't let this one slip away. This is actually perfect. If Yekandar was to challenge on rap side, Tess is only as a deagle. That might be like the weakest point of this defense at the moment, and obviously there's no way Virtus Pro can know it, but just by blind luck, he might be able to have that battle. Shush. Exactly. Shush, Flit. Take a nap. Get out of here. Shush is not having, having any of it. What a nasty angle for him, and he was just about to open that up. Had Flit gone a couple of steps more, he would have been able to spot Tessus, and that could have opened up the options for your kinder. Instead, now he is in a position where, what, he wants to kind of save. I think that they're both going to be backing off to save these guns. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing they can do in this round anymore. Everyone, all their friends, all their teammates are, are gone. Man, it's saving with 35 seconds left. 2v5, fair enough. Heroic have to realize what's going on as well, though, now that they haven't really seen much. It's, I mean, this this is kind of the task that Heroic has in front of them at this point is how many rounds can they string together? Because if you remember on Ancient, that CT side, they were always plagued with money issues. They were always plagued with a weird economy, money in an odd place, constantly at a breaking point. You'd obviously like to get out to a hot start here on Inferno so you can avoid those issues and avoid having that pressure in the back of your mind. So backing off, saving, and just avoiding pressure is going to be the name of the game here because I really feel like it's just going to keep ratcheting it up each round that goes by here. We're going to start seeing the cracks appear. So well, anything you can do to delay that. We got to, I'm really, I'm really curious. Kadian, I would like to see him have a really good CT half here. Early, like we just saw in the previous round, how mobile he can be, the different positions you can take that off to. He gets two all-important kills in the round, the opening two kills. Like, if he's doing that throughout the half, if he can maintain having an AWP as much as humanly possible and just be that mobile and be that deadly, what a nuisance to have to go up against if you're Virtus Pro to call against an effective opera of this style. Here we go again. Almost had a chance. Uh -huh. Saw the jump, but didn't see enough of the body. Such a close run thing. And I think you can tell just how comfortable Heroic are on this map. It's one of the strongest maps that they have in the pool. It is definitely not... A good time here for VP to be running into it. And once again, Kadian keeping him guessing. A third spot that he takes a shot from. Yakinder gone. Man advantage now for Heroic going into this hold. And Kadian just repositioning each and every time. It's so difficult to get a lock on this guy. Although Jame knows about the possibility. He's holding from Boiler. Flashbang is out. Jame completely blinded and taken off the angle. And Heroic now have an idea of where at least the op was for the Virtus Pro attack, but still no commitment. We're just past the one minute mark in round number seven. Heroic is nursing a two round lead. 
And Virtus Pro looking to apply some pressure, take banana control. They are throwing a bit of a fake towards banana, showing presence is Kickert. Whoa, through the smoke. You always wonder, but it's the last bullet that gets the job done. Flit is gone. Even this round just feels like it's just going to fade out of distance from Virtus Pro. Three on five, and you have to come into this. Not a whole lot of utility to speak of. No flashbang, so you can't break up any of these crossfires. And just again, this is the only option Virtus Pro have is to save. There's no way you're making it into this bomb site. Dude, this is going to feel just terrific for Heroic right now. Back-to-back -back rounds where Virtus Pro are saving and you're just sitting pretty, building up your bank, building up your money. You have more and more of a cushion to fall back on. Well, here's what, here's what else it's going to do. Look at the three players who are saving. They have $50 on Jamin Kicker, $0 on Buster. So whatever utility they would hope to buy up around this is just not available to them. They get no bonus money for staying alive after the round ends. So now you have another round for VP. Don't have a whole lot of toys to play with in terms of flashbangs, in terms of smokes. The other two guys can drop as much as they want. But yeah, you got to call a timeout. This is actually a pretty tricky round for VP. And yeah, Baroque's probably loving it. The conversation, Cadian's probably telling him we're in their head. We have them beat already. They don't know what to do. We're destroying them. Keep it up. Yep. But at the same time, you're still playing against guns in these rounds where they're saving. That's the other side of the coin. You got to remember, Virtus Pro, by virtue of saving the weapons, doesn't have to drop down to just pistols. You just can't get complacent. That's going to be the main thing. Heroic need to stay sharp, and you can't get complacent because, as you say, they still have AKs. You can't just go charging them and bullying them the way you would when it's a bunch of eco rounds where it's just pistols right on the other side of things. So it's something to keep in mind here, but I really want to see Kadian come through as an in-game leader right now and just lead, right? Show his team, this is how you're going to get it done. This is how we're going to lock it down. They're not going to get another round past this. This is what he needs to be telling his teammates right now, that they this is the hard stop for his pro. So VP, they are going to go for the force by here, obviously. The guys who can afford to get nades are going to do that. And they even spread them out a little bit as well, taking yep. advantage of that ability to drop grenades now that was recently implemented before the major. The guys who have money just buy that extra nade, just yep. chuck it over to a teammate. So, hey, you can have a flash too. Oh, scary. Good shot from Yekendar. Those are a quick pair of shots. Second one hits the face. Kadian, does he really want to get aggressive? Does he really want to try and find an equalizer and boiler with the AWP? That would be so sick. He's got uh, the, the time limit. He's got to have his mind on when that smoke is going to fade in mid because once it starts going away, he's got to back off and even pulls the trigger on the retreat a little bit early. Yep, the science, that's enough. That would have been an insane risk. But again, I mean, the thing is, how much does it weigh in on your decisions when you know that Virtus Pro are just a team that takes so much time to do anything? Do you play a little bit more ballsy? Do you play a little bit more risky? I mean, sound right now, this is, uh, this is quite the angle. Yeah, but they have flashbangs for it. If Yekandar backs up just a little bit or passes a flashbang over to Jame and has him do it. In fact, both flashbangs pass over. What does Sound do afterwards? Trade it immediately. Refresh is here, and he's got a full kit of utility. He's not even using it yet. Holding his nerve in a crossfire inside the bomb site. But he's just going to go charging through. They're setting it up. Oh, he's a such disaster! The Kinder! He gets the one, but they get completely gutted. Bird is pro. That is Refresh just holding it, holding it, holding it until the moment they push and then pounces. Absolutely perfect, especially considering the first player that goes down. Virtus Pro probably thinks they've eliminated one of two defenders, and that's exactly what Heroic wanted him to think. You're just watching it. It's like a car crash in slow motion. You can't look away. You see what's happening. And I, like, ah. I was wondering why Refresh wasn't using any of his Molotovs or his smoke, and then it's like, oh, he actually wants them to come forward. He wants them to attack into that crossfire. Beautiful stuff. Kadian again giving a different look. Gotta be careful. Deagle can do that work. Yeah. He's lucky he didn't take more damage from that. One HE, one HE, do they have an HE? Just one HE right now. Oh, what a shot! And that was just a split second before the Molotov would have forced him out of that angle. Back the timing! Back-to-back -back rounds, Yekandar delivers a Deagle headshot to give a 5-on-4 over to VP. They just don't have anything to take advantage of it. Oh, Tessus, that was spicy. And there you're just going to go back into it. This is not a round that you want to give up here, Heroic. Not after the last one. Kadian doing the best he can to buy some time. He's going to predict it. Yeah, sees them coming over the oh. top. But Flit on the flank is going to gut them. No, he fluffs it. That does buy time, though. That yeah. does buy time. That delays the retake. But they don't care about him anymore. It's now a two on two. This is going to be fast. They're pulling the trigger right now, and they're getting in. All at Coffins, Buster. He's got to do something. Finally, Flit has got all the way around to CT spawn. 
And he's got clear vision, no smoke at all. Nade is out, that would love to be a kill, but it's not enough damage. He's brought so low. Buster with the up. Starting to open up a little bit wide. Their teammate inside the site has gone down. Still not enough shots connecting. VP, this round is so important if they can snatch it away. Perfect flash, but Flit is hiding. Shush. So much time left in the bomb. The up finally lands, and that's going to be it from Buster. What a round. Yakinder's face says it all. Yakinder's face says it all. Looking over at Buster like, thank you. <laughs> thank you for getting that done. That was way too close. Bird is pro. Talk about coming up with the big rounds when they need it. Man, it did not look like he wanted to be taking those peaks, but the fact that he at least stayed alive throughout all the misses meant everything in the world. And Buster's the one, by the way, who delivered that incredible clutch, that 1v2 on Ancient, to allow them to come back in that map, to really start that and really establish that VP was going to have the momentum leading into the end of it. I mean, that, that end of the table right now is doing so much work for Virtus Pro. Yakinder's opening up the round, and then Buster sitting right next to him is closing it. So, yeah, that's not the first time that they managed to pull that off. So, sick stuff here from Virtus Pro, keeping themselves in this fight, not letting Heroic just run away with it. But we are going to take a look at Cadian's stats now, the Marksman. Five op kills, doing good work, doing good work at a nine. So, really, just get this guy the AWP and he's going to do work for you. The first gun round of this game, remember, VP got the opening pick and then just absolutely demolished Heroic's defense. That's two rounds now back-to-back -back we've just seen where they've gotten the opening pick as well. Heroic really have to, have to limit how much they're giving those kills over to him. It might not be worth that kind of, that kind of aggression to try and find the opening kill for Heroic at the moment. Cadian's, de Cadian's delivering with the AWP when he goes to find a peak. Let him be the aggressor because he's got the hot hand. Yes, I like this setup, though. Refresh playing anti-flash, turned away, trusting Cadian to watch his back. Just waiting for Virtus Pro to try and clear top of mid. That is very cool. Love this setup. But uh, for now, we're not going to see anything just yet. No, this doesn't look why, like Virtus Pro wants to do anything with mid at the moment. Again, no. just more than happy to sit and wait for about 30 seconds until all the utility disappears, until they don't have to worry about nade stacks or molotovs. And they've gotten banana control pretty much for free. And now they can rotate back around. I mean, initial, I mean, initial investment was heavy for VP with all the mollies and HEs to top banana. They really put everything into it. And then Flint checks it. That's not every day that you actually check that spot. And yet he gets the kill on refresh. Kaden, you can see, having to back up. And he stays scoped in so that there's no sound signal, no audio cue. Dude, get out of here, Kaden. Had he got a second kill here, that would have been insane. Yeah, fair play, but oh, good job from Kickert lurking on Banana. Heroic losing a little bit of focus, not remembering about the lurks of VP, and a good shot from Yekendar. And again, what do you do if you're Heroic? You just get absolutely demolished. This is going to be all the money they have as well. It's down inside the smoke. There's 10 seconds on the clock, but Jame has got it with the P250. Jame not cutting any corners there, making sure that he's running with the pistol out. Had the time and they make the play, and now this is heroic. I mean, back to back monster rounds for Virtus Pro. Yeah, Flit, this is a sick wall bang. Assume, like, just assuming that Refresh is there of all times. Like the first time he goes for that wall bang, are they aware of the setup? That's a crazy play. Yeah, you, I mean, you probably shoot some bullets into that regardless every couple times when you take it. Don't, don't ever forget, it's the Deagles and the Clutch from Buster. I have delivered Virtus Pro back into this game, six to four. Heroic was poised to run away with it, and VP does just enough to stop him. Stack for the heroic defense in middle. One flashbang on Shush. Hasn't that just been the story? No team has been allowed to just completely run away with it. It's always three, four rounds, and then oh, put a stop to it. That's enough of that. And while here we're getting the big gamble, this is a hard eco coming in here from Heroic. And so stacking Ooh. the site, a little bit of uh, firing squad waiting there for Flit. He was so casually turning that corner, he didn't ever expect anyone to be there and got double dinked immediately. Brutal. All right, Tessis has an AK-47, but he's going to keep it at the A bomb site. Meanwhile, Virtus Pro is just going to march up and at, a, and attack B, and there is nothing to stop them. There's nobody really to fight back. Refresh and Kadian are here, but... How lucky would you have to get with two USPs spamming through the smoke? Actually, a decent dink on the Yekendar. It's not bad, all things considered. Now you have the AK, and Buster almost goes down. 
here getting tagged. Dude, this is crazy. Brook doing so much damage through this smoke. Bomb's only just getting planted now. There's no way for them to confirm the damage they've done, though. If they know that Yekandar's low, if they know that Buster's low, they might actually try and go for this, but they have no idea the situation they're in and instead going to back away and prioritize the weaponry, prioritize the economy, and they're going to go towards the base of Banana where they want to find some exit kills. They just showed so much presence behind the CT choke point smoke that they're guessing that Virtus Pro is not going to want to retreat through CT spawn, and they are correct. Buster, though, does he walk into this? Do they manage to pull this AWP off of him? That would be terrific. He's so low on health. There's a chance that they come around the corner fast enough, all three of them together. Right into the crossfire. Katie with the parting shot. Okay, fair enough. He gets one kill. That's well worth it. They didn't really lose anything for that. Tessa still has the AK-47. A really cool little little play. Warms my 30 Counter-Strike counter tactical heart. There you go. <laughs> you got there. I you got, got there, there eventually. eventually. <laughs> One round lead for Heroic now, 6-5. to five. And I mean, I know that Inferno is much more of an even map now between halves, but this is still the case where I think Heroic are going to be feeling a little bit frustrated with themselves if they don't, you know, they don't finish stronger than this. They need to pull ahead in these rounds. Virtus Pro are now showing a fight. And Virtus Pro could be very capable on the CT side. So heroic right now. Decent use of the utility here, trying to create some room. Stan, dude, getting tagged by that Molly. That's so frustrating. He was already so low on health. Has to back off and play it a bit more safe now. Double stack and holes. Kadian with the op looking left. M4 looking right. It's Yekandar to go down. Kadian has to back away. That's way too dangerous. And that positioning from Shush also gives away the second player, Kadian's position, so he wants nothing to do with it. Kig is up. Did he get that spot? Shame, thinking about it. Smoke's gonna go down, blocking off Banana, and now man advantage for Virtus Pro with ample time by their standards on the clock left to get something rolling in this round. 50 seconds left. We've seen some risky rotations from Heroic throughout this series when they haven't had a whole lot of information. And this one's tough to do. You're putting a lot of faith in Tessus, who's got no utility at the B bomb site. 37 seconds. Again, VP leaving a lurk way back towards T spawn to catch anyone pushing down Banana. It's all on this. Sound, turn from the flash, anti-flash, comes back into it, but no health. And Flint knew exactly where he was. Kadian steps in, he's got a kill. Spinning, looking for the next, and it's Yekandar. Smoke's gonna start, oh, what a recovery! He wanted to look away. And now Tessus is put into action, and he's boosted up. They have no idea. He can hold the trigger. He can just chill. He's going to get both kills for free, and they think the bomb site is clear. Tessus has them all fooled, and there it is. That was a land play. That was a land caliber play. And the fans, you guys, that was perfect. Well done. What a round from Tessus, and to hold it together the way the Cajun kept it together, the way that the fans kept it together, not giving it up here for Tessus. That was sick. Perfect stuff, and that could really set Heroic off here on a comeback. They could definitely turn this around now. Seven to five. They're in the lead just enough to get the rifles online. Virtus Pro have tapped their bank buying into this round, and they're taking a lot of damage to Banana. Thought perhaps we'd see a change of pace here from Virtus Pro. They were thinking about it, but I think that had just a moment's hesitation, and now we're going to get a second crack in a moment here. Minute 30 on the clock, and now Kadian deciding to get aggressive, and they're ready and waiting, and once again, his teammate gets picked, and he misses the shot, pulls the trigger too early. Oh, no. He... Oh, this is going to be so difficult. I think you got to back out and save if you're heroic at this point. Yeah, th this is not worth fighting anymore. You lost two players way, way too quick, and the AWP is no longer in play, and, and you know Virtus Pro with this kind of an advantage is going to leave players across the map just to be obstacles to rotate over. So call it early. Make sure you can get into position to defend because Virtus Pro is hunting. They're on the hunt for you. Yep, they want... I mean, they, ha they can afford to give up a couple guns. If they can take those guns off of you, this would be terrific for Virtus Pro. So they're out there nice and early. Plenty of time left on this bomb. And that, I'm wondering, that's the second time in a row now where we've seen Heroic, they go for an aggressive setup like that, and they aren't able to capitalize on it. Yo, VP's done a great job of, of, of not only handling Heroic's aggression, but coming out as the winners in it. Outside of, like, Kadian being able to get those deep, peeps, deep, deep peaks with the AWP, there's, there hasn't been a whole lot of aggressive success from Heroic.
In fact, it backfired on him a couple times when Virtus Pro ends up winning one of the Deagle rounds. They got to be very careful, and that one's painful too. Sixth round, but with three surviving, they may still be able to get a decent buy here if they really wanted to risk it heroic. This would be them swinging for the fences and saying, we're going to establish it right here. We're going to get the remaining two rounds in this half. It's going to finish 9-6, and we'll hit the ground running going into the second half, and that's exactly what they're doing. Full buy for as best they can here from heroic. And as far as Virtus.4 are concerned, they're fully equipped. They've got everything they need. Three to top banana here for Heroic at the start. So you can see just the ocean of flames and banana. Nobody's getting through that intact. And yeah, VP don't even want to have anything to do with it. Whoa, hard, real hard rotate. What is this? <laughs> Why not? Let's go for it. Paul's pop. It's coming in. Let's go. This is it. All or nothing. You can charge it in. Refresh. Guns them down. There's a quick trade. Shush is here, though. Man advantage going into it for Heroic. And Virtus Pro could still back out, but they decide to take the fight. Bring it back to a three on three. That was Kicker on short. KD goes for the peak for info, gets gunned down. And now with the man advantage, Virtus Pro have control of the situation. Oh no, this is a disaster. Everything was going so well for Heroic. And look at VP now. That looked so good. The typical VP pause. They just sit and wait for the follow up play. And same with Heroic. They know exactly what's happening on the map right now. This is what all the prep is for. Bomb rotating back around through hulls. Buster not spotting anything. Both players from Heroic inside the bomb site. This is all of Heroic's money. This could be a two for one if Virtus Pro can pull it off. With 30 seconds left, there's still the time here on to be considered. Heroic can still play this very well. Virtus Pro are gambling that Heroic have rotated towards the B bomb site with 20. Four seconds left. Dude, this can all fall apart for Virtus Pro. They could have played this all so well, and yet it could still go back the way of Heroic. If the bomb gets stuck at any point as it tries to make its way onto the bomb site, this is it. Tessus kicks us off. First kill from him. They still have no idea that the second man is on the site, though. Stop it. He could ruin it all if he gets the pounce. Eight seconds left, and there it is! Has to stay alive. Five seconds on the clock. James has to get this kill to keep his team in it. Two seconds, one second, it's done! Stalin the hero! Oh, and he, he gets and it at the end. The injury. The cherry on top, eight to six. Good play from Heroic. The follow-up bait in the back of the bomb site, absolutely brutal. Oh, that's so unreal! It could not have gone better for Heroic. What a back and forth round. That I mean, that round was so close considering Heroic had the call. They had five players in that bomb site during during the exec. It should have never even been that close, but miraculous. They're able to pull it out. Still, tough scenario. They are going to take a lead into the second half. Regardless of what happens here in round 15. But the buy from VP is, is just feels stronger than, than, than Heroic's defense at the moment. Still two SMGs on the board, two FAMAS as well. And VP is knocking on the door of the B bomb site. Ready to head in as well. There's the flash. Molotov goes down. Tessus trades one for one and importantly stays alive. Another volley on top. Virtus Pro realizing this is just too hot to handle. We need to pump the brakes for a second and slow it down. Oh my dear lord, I cannot believe he's gotten into this position. Heroic <laughs> has no idea. Flit, you can turn this round on its head right now. VP needs you to deliver, but Cadian's got it. That, I think, is the last thing that VP had that could really allow them to win this round. There's no nades. They used everything they have. They dumped it all at the beat bomb site. Now just one flashbang, and it's so difficult. Still a chance, still a chance. Down. Yeah, peaks. Clearly guns down chain. That was so close. Through the smoke. And in the 15th round, it's looking highly likely that Heroic are going to get that lockdown and end it 9-6. Barring a miracle here from Buster and Kicker. 2v5, no utility. Completely locked out of the bomb sites. Heroic showing off now. Hey, you want a Molotov here? Take one. And what's Kicker going to do but die? Oh, nice headshot on Acadian, though. Showing some fight, 20 seconds. There's no way. This is one of the rounds Heroic could probably take their hands off the keyboard and mouse and still win it. it this is an impossible round for Kicker to win, especially considering the utility dump. Great half from Heroic. Nice job from VP clawing themselves in it. There's a nice little stretch there for the Virtus Pro attack. Four to five rounds at one stage from like the ninth to the 13th. They've done enough to be competitive for sure. 14 kills on Cadian to end the half. 13 kills on Tess's. On the VP side of things, it's Flit and Kickert with nine kills apiece to lead the way for Virtus Pro. Little bit of a halftime breather. Yeah. 
This half is everything to both of these teams. One of them is eliminated. One of them is a semi-finalist <laughs> here in Stockholm at the PGL Major. First major, first land in two years. This one means a lot. <laughs> Popping off in the corner. Let's go. Got the cheering section. Oh, man, this is it. Now, Heroic, can they win this pistol round and start strong in the second half, or are Virtus Pro going to show some fight here? BP cannot allow Heroic to run away with this, and, well, they've got no way. players towards B. This is brutal. This it will be a slaughter. They're running right into the trap, Heroic, and they have no idea. Blitz going to be there to take the shot. Turns it into a 1v1, gets stinks though, has to play careful. Buster trying to help him out. The kills are going both ways, but it's Virtus Pro with a man advantage. And now it's all on sound, and he is gone. Shush catches the flank, though, turns it into a 1v2. And it is still possible. This happens so early. He's got a lot of time to work with, but he's walking into a crossfire. Once that smoke and CT clears, it's going to be so difficult for him to get the job done. Kickert's at his back. He's going to try and play this angle. First Pro trying to peek him together. If one takes the fight, the other's going to peek. And yep, sure enough, Shush knows it. Sees the one in CT. Now he's got bomb as well. This is going to change a lot. Can he get his oh way out God. of here? Oh, no way! That's beautiful. What a brilliant move from Shush. VP had no idea. He slipped the net. He's got the bomb. He's at least going to get a plant. And anything that happens after that is gravy. The plant is everything Heroic won at this moment. And Shush has a chance. Dude, how much are their hands trembling right now? Going into this retake for this pro. This is it. Buster and Kicker. Buster's been good for a few clutches so far this series. Let's see if he's good for another one here. He's got a teammate to help him out, but Shush has been rock solid. Instant headshot! Instant death on Kicker! 1v1, and he saw him too! He knows where Buster's coming from! Oh. And Shush! Looking to execute him! Looking for that headshot! 50 health left on Buster! And Buster's got to oh. charge him! And Buster drops him! Plenty of time for the defuse! And BP pick up the pistol round. It had to happen, Moses. He had his chance. He missed some shots on, this, on, on, that, on that clutch in that 1v1. Ooh, he had everything he, he, missed. he could have wanted. Man, does it feel like Shush deserved that. Deserved to win that round. What a good play in a 1v2, in a tough 1v2, and just can't convert the kills. That's amazing. Brutal to have it ripped away from you like that. 9-7, oh. to seven, but look. As much as that loss hurts, he got a plant in a near, in, in an extremely difficult situation. That's going to allow Heroic to have three AK-47s on the board. Enough utility as well. And this is a very dangerous round for VP. James got the op already. <laughs> That's crazy. No hesitation on the side of James. Straight into it. Has the AWP, but we've got three rifles on the other side for Heroic. They've elected to go for the raid boss strategy. Trying to maximize that firepower off the bomb plants, and now they are just hoping to put a halt to it. So I'll have a couple of nades to work with here. I don't, I don't know if Heroic's going to expect the all. That, I, that can completely catch them off guard, you're right. And Jame is in this position. It's a bit of an off angle as well. They might not be expecting this at all. It, oh, oh, no, what? Jame misses the shot. He loses his teammate too. This is all falling apart for VP. Smoke blocks him off. He's still got a chance, but Heroic have threaded the needle. They're on the bomb site. Oh, you feel shockingly horrible if you're Jame. This is, <laughs> you really want to vomit right now if you're, that, that, oh. All Good right, boy. round is won by Heroic off the back of a missed shot. Seen a couple of weird misses throughout this series. Probably no one with none with bigger consequences than that one. Especially for Chain. Dude, this is this is ripping everything away from Virtus Pro. That that's actually incredible. That one miss has decided so much, and if they can take that off away from here at the end, that'd be massive. <laughs> Flashbang's gonna come in to buy him time. Jay has to give up the angle. Thankfully, Heroic is not dedicated to the hunt. Don't let him have it. So oh, 10 enough, to James. 7, yeah. Fair enough, James. You keep that off. If you're going to miss shots like that, just let right. him Right. Yeah. <laughs> Do it again, please. <laughs> Do it again. We'll hold on to our AKs and M4s. Holy hell. That is so brutal. He had him dead to rights, turned away from him. And that is a very painful round for Virtus Pro to lose. It's one thing to miss a shot and just be able to kind of get another chance later on in the round. It's another thing to miss a shot and then watch your team get deleted, like, right after it. <laughs> By it's the player you're supposed to kill. Yeah. Oh, no. And that is heroic just coming right back into it. They didn't even give Burst Pro another round. Timeout, VP. Yeah. And 
if you're Jame at this point, man, you just got to shake that off. This is where you're going to get to truly show what you're capable of here. If you can have something go away or, or against you in that fashion and still rally during the timeout, come back out swinging, that's what BP need to show right now. They got to show that that did not phase them. And, well, they are going to spend some money this round. So it's not the hard eco coming in here for Curtis Pro, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a force buy either. They're kind of going halfway here. Well, you're you're buying so that everyone can everyone can have a, can be can have like a strong position in their in their respective spots on the map. But I mean, really, what you're doing here is you're just saying, James, like we know you just missed that shot, shake it off because you have you have complete freedom. Your op needs to deliver us something in this round. Get a peek deep down mid and see nothing. Oh, there's a chance here at the end, just jumping over the crosshair. I don't know if they know James is peeking down and he's going to give it up. Four players at the eight bomb site for VP's defense. And Heroic, they might just march right in to Flit, who's the lone defender. The smoke is eventually going to fade, but he's hiding in it. Turns, missed shots again. And it's going to be oh a boy. save again for the rest of Virtus Pro. They're not going to budge from the A bomb site. Goal now for Virtus Pro is keep the AWP alive for round 19. Yes, defend it at all costs. And the MP9 cluster. He might throw that away. We'll see. But as far as uh, these rounds are concerned here for Virtus Pro, they're starting to miss shots that they otherwise wouldn't. This is where you can start to see the nerves start to set in because, again, this is the final map of this best of three. You face elimination now. Either of these teams. You lose this map, you're going home. The winner's going into the semifinals. And it's all on the line, and you've waited a long time. You've put in an enormous amount of work to get this far and to be here on the main stage of the major. And you've both had good years. Whoever loses this, like no matter how good your, your year was, you're, it's going to feel like hell. It is. <laughs> it's going to hurt. Now, fans are chanting, and now this is it. Winner between these two teams will play the winner of G2 NIP that's coming up right after this. Mm -hmm. That'll be a sick series as well. Oh. <laughs> NIP really did get the fortunate draw of that one. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Nothing's but. easy at this stage. Four round lead for Heroic. Jame again going to try and create something, and Jame again is going to have nothing presented to him. It's like they know it's coming, too. They're just like, yeah, here's a flash. Have fun. Oh, close angle, though. This is scary. Free fire, and uh, that, was, uh, that was slick. Tess S ready for it. That was fast. No chance for a rebuttal from Flip. So that's apartments. Not quite control, though. Yeah, Kicker kind of hanging around here with the season 75, crossing his fingers, just hoping somebody's going to walk around that corner. They're, they're paused. They're happy to wait and just hold on to Hull's control. They're going to let these three players in Banana play next. It's their turn to try and gain map control and forcing away the player inside the choke point as well. Sir so Heroic taking real estate, taking Banana. Back to the A bomb site we go, and if they if they continue this attack, if this is where they end up, they'll finally have a chance to take that off away from Jame. He's kept it for so long since round number two. Oh, here they come. Nope, smoke. <laughs> surprise, surprise, and he still gets a kill. No way. All right, refresh is going to feel a little salty after that one. But you are narrowing in on James with that AWP. If you can get out here onto this A-bomb side, this is going to be big, and it's going to be hard for James to hold you off. He's only got the off. He can only shoot once at a time. Oh, my Lord. Does he get out of here? No way. Oh, did they line up? There it is. Point blank. And oh, shush with the pre-fire. Shush with the pre-fire. That was perfect. And they needed that. They actually had a player in halls going back to Boiler I thought would be able to flank him out, but called that one off, so there was really no one to come from behind and eliminate that position. So finally, the AWP is taken away from Virtus Pro. I believe Jame is going to be buying it in the next round regardless, but at least you get a freebie if you want it for Cadian. Truth. And all that Heroic have to do now is protect the AWP. Don't let anyone from Virtus Pro recover it. Bomb planted in a position where you can safely survive inside a pit as well. CZ doing some damage, and Stown's going to find the kill. They're keeping their cool here, Heroic. And it feels like everybody's starting to chime in. Would be a great time for a Doja made. <laughs> oh! Now that you mention it, it's not going to happen, though. And Yakinda hoping against hope. Ah, he upgrades to an M4A1. He'll take that. Fair enough. Obviously, one of the AWP, but take what you can get in this situation. Oh, yeah, absolutely. 12 yeah. to 7. 
Virtus Pro is getting to that same point like they were on Mirage, where it's starting to slip out of control. They, they need something. They need some kind of magic here. Round number 20 coming in. And the hype is real going in here for Heroic. All important round. Shush setting it up for the team. They've got the firing squad just waiting to see what was going to present itself there, Heroic. They were ready for some aggression for some early peaks coming in from VP. Nothing here, though, for VP, although Yakinder is trying his darndest. He's really trying to look around these smokes, hoping to catch somebody looking the wrong way. This is crazy. The aggression. This is what needed to happen, though. Virtus Pro count on him making these kinds of plays. And now Yakinder's putting it all on the line for his team. Oh, that's that smoke is way too shallow. That actually gives Heroic some cover if they want to hard clear Yekandar. That's pretty dangerous. Two more players behind this though and boost it up. There's a lot of presence here from Virtus Pro. Three players in banana. And Heroic is bypassing it all. Buster needs to hustle. And he's praying that Heroic delay this hit just long enough for him to get here. Taking a look at his teammate's screen as well, just trying to get a read on the positioning here from his teammates. How is this going to go down? He could peek at the perfect time here. Shush turns back just in the nick of it, and Shush is ready. Instant headshot. Buster, no chance. Kicker on the site now. His life is going to get hard. He gets a nice volley kill, slows down Saudi. There's the drop, though, from Refresh. Opens it up. Yekinder, though, the hero, comes in on short, takes two. Shush and Refresh now the last two alive in a two on two, 25 seconds, and Jame on the high ground. They have no idea. This guy can ruin it all. They need to get the bomb. Bomb's down in front of Yekandar, blocked off by Amali. Oh, this is going to be so tough. How do you do this if you're heroic? It has to be right now. 12 seconds, good kill, perfect flash. Jame, he could ruin everything, and now they know his position. Oh, another miss. Another miss. And another I can't even look round. away, Moses. Oh, it's I look brutal. away from my monitor here. I'm looking at the players there. That's so painful for Jame. Oh, the all important, the most important match of the event for Virtus Pro. And those are two heartbreaking misses for Jame. Yekandar does a great job. A fast flank due to his position at the base of Banana. And again, Heroic find the answer. They find the way out. 13 to 7. How many rounds can Virtus Pro absorb like this? How, how, how many beatings? keep taking. I mean, we're about to find out if Virtus Pro is maxed out on comebacks in this event. I don't know if they have another one in them. It doesn't look like it in the moment. Oh no, you're stuck here, Jabe. You better hope it doesn't spread onto you. Molly was pretty close. But this is the golden opportunity here for Heroic to put an end to Virtus Pro's run. 13 to 7 on the T side. And Heroic taking their time. Flash over the top, the usual one, just over half wall. And here we go. Jame is on its own, gets the first shot. He's back. Yeah, that's the thing. They're backing off and they're trying to rotate around. This could turn into an apps pop onto that A bomb site, but the rotations come through. Buster's here to help out now. And before long, James is going to be in position as well. Yeah, I think Heroic knows they need to do this right now. There's the smoke. Refresh. Gonna take a risk and walk out without the flashbangs. Doubled up inside the bomb site. Heroic has no idea yet. Refresh is surely gonna get the information though. They know one's boosted. They've spotted him. They need to clear the lower corner and they do. Refresh is massive in this round. And there he is again. Glock out and saves his teammate's life. And Jame, it's time, my friend. You gotta make the play. You gotta try something. You gotta uh, back off. There's no way into this bomb site. They don't have a kit. They I don't have a kit, they've got one smoke, they've got no flashbangs, and Virtus Pro again have no option but to save. How many kills is that for Refresh? I think that's like six kills in the last two rounds for Refresh. He was at five kills just a couple rounds ago. Yeah. The dude has just popped off at the end. Why not? Well, Once uh, again. Look at the difference. He's popping off at the end. Jane, when he's needed most, has missed a couple huge sitters. Oh, man, that is, Jane is not going to sleep well tonight. If it goes against him here, Virtus Pro. If he saves it, it still could work out. But let's see here, because James open to hold on to this AWP. He's got the angle. Heroic. Oh, the bait takes the shot. Gets, well, revenge for his fallen teammates. At least refresh out of the picture. But they will save that AWP. 14 to 7. And Heroic, I mean, they were the favorites coming into this map in particular. It's one of the best maps they have in the pool. If it went the distance, Heroic were going to be feeling pretty good about themselves. 
They're showing us why. They look very confident on, Infer on Inferno right now. They've been growing throughout this whole event. Remember, they almost got eliminated way back in the Challenger stage. They, they might, there was a, there's a world in which they didn't even make it to the Legend stage, much less here and much less to the semifinals. And this, I mean, this team is finding its form and its confidence at the perfect moment. And just shaping all of the storylines as well. Coming into it, everybody's thinking, okay, are they onliners? Are they capable of playing online? Will they be able to withstand the pressure and actually get in? Because they've been a contender online and all these online leagues and all these online tournaments. But when they come to land, where are they going to show us what they're capable of? And it turns out, Heroic are living up to it. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is still a buy round for BP and this is still a match of CS. It's not over until there's 16 rounds on the board for one of these teams. They are pounding this Hulls pop so much these last few rounds. They are really feeling like they have a lot of success to be found here. Not this time. Jame nails it. Flip follows up so well. And Shush doesn't even have a bomb. So with a minute on the clock, he doesn't have a whole lot going on for him. Although, I does find a very crisp headshot on Yakinder. That was nice. Yeah, that was perfect. Oh. No, he doesn't get it. So close, Shush. Man, he's just a split second late on all of these. What is, no, no one from BP wants this fight at all. Everyone's shying away from it. Shush is gonna get more deeper into the bomb site and fair play, Virtus Pro trying to keep guns in their hand. But Shush has a chance to take a few more away over the smoke he's found. There it is. Nicely done from BP. And they needed to keep four players alive. If you're ever gonna have a comeback in this scenario as Virtus Pro, that's like the best way to get it started. You shut down a hit, you don't lose anyone until garbage time in the round until, they're all, until he's deciding to save. You get some money behind you. You have a cushion, a little bit of a buffer. And you have a couple nice shots this round from Jame. Yep. Coming up with the goods. Keeping the team alive and in it. Heroic had mountains of cash, so they don't care. They're going to be able to full buy, get fully kitted out for this one. So now it's on VP and to show us what they're made of here. The true test of their metal. Because now versus Pro, again, this is a match of CS. If VP can run it back, it's not over yet. This is all on mindset, and this is all just on grind. You're just saying one round at a time. You're not even looking at the scoreboard right now if you're Virtus Pro. You're just saying one round at a time. Don't even think about it. Just play the game. And we've seen teams come back from further, <laughs> from further behind this before. So let's see now from Heroic, though. They're thinking about getting over here towards a banana in a moment. Cadian setting it up. Nades over the top. Kinder, man, bold as brass out here. Heroic has a ton of money, and they have elected to drop down to three Mac 10s. I have to imagine this is going to end up being an execute on the B bomb site from this deep into Banana. They want the mobility, they want to be fast, they, oh my god, and they want to take Yekandar's head off before they even begin. That's huge. Screw the set piece, let's go. Get the Mac Techs in there. And I don't know if Buster can do this. He's got so many problems coming his way. First kill is his. Oh, great precision, but cannot get the second kill. Shush, what a hero. Buster was so close to getting a second kill there. And now if you're Virtus Pro, you're down a man. Jame is nowhere near you. He's over on the A bomb site right now. Is Kicker gonna do this all alone? He's got Flit there to help him from CT. But Are... the bomb is a quarter done already. Yeah, this is weird. You can't save here either. You're gonna send Kicker forward to see what he can get you, but you have to go for this if you're VP. All right, let's see. What are they capable of here? It, they're capable of dying, Moses. That's what's happening here. Tess is just ripping their heads off. Kicker and Jame are out of it. Flit's the only one. Holding the line. Finds one. But there's Tessus with the triple. This is over. And VP, that's it. VP didn't even look like they wanted to be in that retake. Match point. And this is the difference between a team that's playing to win and a team that's playing not to lose knowing when you have to get in there and just go for the fights. You yeah, gotta know when you gotta be able to take those fights. Yeah, that felt like a little bit of like a, a dying gasp, a bit of a whimper right at the end of their run. It's been a good tournament for Virtus Pro. That was a beautiful boost though. I'm really glad that the observers were able to pick up on that. We were able to see from that perspective because that shows us, you know, that Yakinder with that off angle actually gets punished hard when he's just that far out in the open. And now, seven rounds is what First Pro need in a row to force overtime, not even win, just to force overtime and stay alive in this quarterfinal. Heroic, with everything on the line, just one more round is all they need. We got a bit of presence in mid, getting set up, Ollie over the top. In the meantime, VP, they do have three on A. They've rotated an extra man over here, at least. 
the usual. And BP right now, I mean, they're fixing to be turned into a rug unless they can put up a fight. I don't know if they've got any left. Double up setup switched into. Heroic happy to wait patiently. Kickert's a little bit nervous of that B bomb site. He's shifting over. And Buster has a pretty deep angle with the AWP now, so he's going to call Kickert off. An interesting rotation. This is a lot of time for mostly just two defenders. Kicker could get locked out of this hit very easily. Jane better deliver if they want to stay alive. Time to hit the shots. 23 seconds, though. He's got plenty of time. And Kicker with the flank. What a hero. Double kill for him, buying even more time for his team. 17 seconds, and the push has to start. They have to get onto this bomb site. Split still in the pit. Shame is on the bomb site, and this is falling apart for Heroic. Yeah, time. They don't have. They don't have the time. It's. It was sloppy because they had to rush things as well. That flank from Kicker was perfect. Heroic, missing a small detail now. No one watching for that push once the smoke disappears. No one looking towards rap side. That was just perfectly timed. Yeah, but you're not going to get a whole lot of gifts like that if you're Virtus Pro. That might be like, you, you're not, you can't rely on that. That might be like one time. That was the one that they get. I feel like Zis can't hold back a smile. He's, just, he's like, ooh, semifinals, baby. He's overjoyed right now. You can't tell, but he is. He is. But now it's about just not getting complacent over and over again. You have to repeat it to yourself. You have to just stay focused if you're heroic. You still need that one round. Virtus Pro, perfectly capable of running it back, and now we've got a double AWP setup for Virtus Pro as well, changing it up. We have yet to see this kind of strategy. The kid, they're gonna put some damage through. Sick, Stavin is out. Just like that, Heroic are down a man. Arcadian, that would have been so sick. The Molly behind it Ooh. though, fends him off, pop flash through. Yakinder holds his own. Triple kill for him in the round, and there's Buster. He shows he has the AWB, but he wins the round, and that's what matters. Uh-oh. 15 to 10. They still got some fight in them. Five rounds away. Again, this is what we've been wondering all along. Can Heroic end the series? You can get up, you can get up to match point, but do you have what it takes to finish it? To finish the job? 15 to 10. And they'll have, they'll have had seven chances to close this out. It, like this, they have five left, five remaining to book themselves a semifinal ticket. Timeout called by Heroic, talking things over. You could see Exist being vocal. Plenty of money still for Heroic. So Kadian's gotten off four AK 47s as well. Very quiet. They're feeling, the, the, you know, they, they got to take a break every now and again. There we go. There we go. And this side? Very quiet over here. All right, well, we'll give you some time to warm up. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. We're live. And it is another buy round on both sides. Heroic, fortunately for them, they had so much money in the bank. Yeah. They have yet to eco with BP still winning rounds like this. Heroic still able to pull by. And we're seeing just that development now between these two teams. Banana, who's backing off? How are they holding it? Aggression last round, this time around, very passive. And BP may try and go for a timing to retake it later. We'll see, because now James is rotated over. You'll have that AWP to back it up. It'll just be the long wait. The thing is here, I mean, Heroic, now that they've got their apps pop shut down, maybe BP are just banking on them hitting the B site. You're going to shift back over here now because we shut you down on A. And so initially, VP kind of putting a little bit more attention over there just to see. I'm curious how Heroic is going to approach this. Three smokes, two flashes to use. It might just be a standard hit, but they don't have any Molotovs to clear anyone out of position. Mm -hmm. It's going to be just, it's going to be dirty. You have to hit just head shots from here on out. Yakinder's got the angle on you. A little bit of an off angle as well, so that's weird. But here's the flash over the top. Yakinder blind, still gets the kill. He had the lineup. And over the top, he will go down. That's Refresh bringing it back, but Buster in the back of the corner. How are they going to deal with this guy? They have to run in here and hope that they can find the shots the old-fashioned way. Stavin gets dropped. It's all on Buster, and he is buying so much time. 20 seconds left, and Kadian got to get this bomb down. No way does he go over the top. As the smoke clears, Kicker right there. Hits the shot. Kadian not going to miss. 
Jane, though, thinking about it, and Kane is going back again. Five seconds left on the clock. There's no time for the ball plant. Tess has to get out of dodge. Furnace, bro, another round of the board. That, that worries me. That's a worrying sign. Obviously a great kill to get as the smoke clears at Coffin, but then the follow-up tap, tap and peek towards CT spawn, you gotta trust your teammate there. And Kadian went for a play. Kadian went to win the match, win the series, and he was denied. And we'll see what the consequences for that are. You wanted to end it. But you have to put the faith in your team, your, your life in your teammate's hand and just trust it. Four rounds away now, Virtus Pro from taking us to overtime. Inferno's not done yet. These are such close rounds. It's amazing, both of these teams, the battle right now. Heroic. All right, this time around, they get that early banana control. And a quick shot here, quick peek. And Kinder's got to be careful. He's going to get a kill. And a second. Oh, and a third. No. Okay, then. Good shooting. Cool hand, to Kinder. Doesn't miss. Oh, and he, oh, he gets dropped. Kicker, what are you doing? Your boy could have had an ace. On the stage of the Major? Sure, it was an eco, but why not? They all count. They all count. Oh, man, the VP chant is kicking off now as well. It's been a long time coming, and this is probably the first time on this map that anyone's felt good enough to start one. VP looks like they're warming up into this. It's just taken them 23 rounds to do it. Four rounds straight for Virtus Pro. Five of the last six. And they're within striking distance of overtime. Deep Molotov out is going to hold the VP defense at bay down Banana. Three players here initially for Virtus Pro. It's within their grasp, Moses. They just have to reach out and take it now. VP. Man, <laughs> amazing. And so Heroic, they've elected to change it up once again. It's been a lot of B, and now we've got a presence towards A. They've really gone to the other side of the map. But Virtus Pro, this time we're reading into it. Four players ready on A early in case Heroic are going to try some shenanigans over here. And that bomb is not committed either way. So they clear out apartments now. You can see how much how much more passive things get when there's so much on the line. Yeah. Nobody taking risks, nobody wanting early engagements. Everyone is content to just kind of chill and have an early stalemate in these rounds and play it out in the late game, execute. And here's Heroic again. They're going back to this Hulls pop. They saw something in prep that they thought they could exploit. It's gonna be perfect though. Look at this. Oh, trying to get back in time. Yekinder, is he gonna be able to make it? He needs to be able to help his teammate out. Watching on Arch, smoke on Arch, smoke on Library. He is effectively cut out of this bomb site. Shush is there to watch for him as well. Tess is getting one. This is big. Let's do the best he can, but it's not good enough. Yekinder is gone as well, trying to push the smoke. And it's all on kicker, puts a spray through. He takes down Shush. Still a man advantage for Heroic and just getting the bomb planted this time. Heroic, they have that much going. Now the clock is on Virtus Pro. Tournament lives on the line. They've been on this comeback. They need another clutch. And Heroic stand in their way. Perfect post plants here for Heroic. This is going to be so hard for VP. And Heroic not showing anything. Absolutely no reason to. They're going to play the bomb. VP, they know where VP need to go. Refresh takes out Kickert. And it's all on Buster. 1v3. Smoke over the top, and Buster's just chilling, hoping for a target, and it's not gonna happen. 